an application very, very dear to my heart, unfortunately, has been archived. And that is this right here. This is NeoFetch, probably an application that I've used in almost every single video that I cover on Linux. One, it's absolutely beautiful. The asset you are here of the various Linux distribution logos always looks awesome. It gives you a rundown of all the really quick, relevant, important information on both the hardware and the software running on your system. And I do have a whole separate video on how really easy it is to customize what is listed, the logos, so on and so forth. Overall, with even it being a simple application, I do believe that it is integral in probably a good amount of people having that kind of first spark of interest in Linux. When you happen to stumble across a Linux video, somebody types this simple command and you get information presented like this. It's intriguing, really. But as I said, unfortunately, it has been archived. As you can see, this repository has been archived just over a month ago. It's now read only. And to be fair, it hasn't received updates in quite some time, but this right here is kind of the uh, nail in the coffin for this application. And if you are curious on learning about it, you could go down here, see some of the options, some of the things that you could actually do with it. It's truly remarkable. You can see the commits from the main developer are few and far in between. And I did go ahead and send them an email, reached out for comment. But honestly, right here is what I'm going to assume that the reason is, unless if he actually replies, switching a focus from the computer to the land, which is respectable. And with this death of NeoFetch, I'm going to go over some alternatives. I haven't really decided on which one I'm going to start using frequently or anything like that. But I will quickly go over some alternatives that I am considering just so you have something that's actually being updated on your system ready to go for the very critical task of outputting information about your system in the terminal. And this isn't a full in-depth going over all these features. When I do decide on which one is at least the best for me, I'll probably make a tutorial guide going over all the different customization options and how to kind of tinker around and play with it. First one here is going to be fast fetch. And unfortunately we are going to have to add a PPA to use this one. So I would really prefer one in the official repositories, at least on Ubuntu, it is available to install on many other systems, which you can see here, it's in Fedora, Arch, and many of the popular other non-Debian based Linux distributions. So let's go ahead and give it a quick install. And then this is what it's going to look like, at least on this virtual machine system. I have to make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. And this is what we get. We do get a little bit more information. And again, this all should be customizable. This logo sucks, but this is going to be one option. Now another one, and this is going to actually be available in these repositories, and that is going to be uh, screen fetch, just like that, screen fetch, bam, and there we go. This one looks a lot more similar, logo looks a little bit better than the last one, about the same amount of information. Overall, this one is definitely up there in the uh, consideration ladder. And now this one I have used in the past and it's still pretty cool. Let's go ahead and give it an install. And that is going to be CPU fetch. So if I type CPU fetch, again, this is a virtual machine, but it can still see it perfectly fine. It sees what uh, CPU that I have running on this machine, as well as some very specific information about the CPU. So that is just another kind of cool one to take a look at if this is the information that you're looking for. Now that was only two of them. There's a couple others. There's NerdFetch, which is a really pretty application, but that one does take a little bit more work to install, isn't in the native repositories, or at least that I could tell doesn't even have a PPA. And if you have any that you'd like to recommend, please leave them down below. I'm really excited to check them all out play with some of the customization and see which ones are both the quickest to spin up because that's one of the things with NeoFetch is just apt install NeoFetch run it looks beautiful and it's awesome. Luke do you want to come say bye? If that camera can you say bye? Bye Jay, bye. Don't dive. <laughs> Peace out.